Welcome to Olivia's garden. Sit back and relax as we take an up close look at my long blooming flowering shrub called Orchid Satin Rose of Sharon. While you enjoy its beauty, I'll share everything you need to know about the Orchid Satin, including its growing zones, bloom period, mature size, sun exposure, pruning, and more. To enjoy other eye-catching plants like this one, subscribe to Olivia's Garden. The Orchid Satin is a new variety of Rose of Sharon that is an amazing perennial shrub with striking blooms. Some people are familiar with the common Aphrodite variety of the Rose of Sharon, which also is pink in color. But what sets the Orchid Satin apart from that common type are the long dramatic red lines called the eye that extend from the center deep into each petal. It is so mesmerizing and a delight to have in your yard. Rosa's Sharon is a type of hibiscus that actually grows well in cold climates, so you can add a tropical vibe to your garden that is hardy enough to bloom year after year. I used to buy hibiscus annual flowers every summer until I planted this in my garden. Orchid Satin is non-invasive and seedless, so you don't need to worry about plucking seedlings from your garden or it impacting neighboring wildlife. It is ideal for a range of USDA growing zones from the cold of zone 5 where I live to the heat of zone 9. It thrives in well-drained soil with a neutral pH. Its bloom period spans from midsummer to midfall. For me, it blooms from late July to early October, adding vibrant color to my landscape when a lot of other plants are withering away. It grows to a mature height of 8 to 12 feet and a width of 4 to 6 feet, so it can grow quite large if you let it. A friend of mine complained to me that she doesn't like Rose of Sharon because it grows so big and out of shape. That can be easily addressed by pruning it back, giving it at least two to three buds on each branch in late winter or early spring, which will give it a nice shape and encourage new growth. Also for shape, I highly recommend the tree form, also known as a standard, instead of the typical shrub. The ones I have in my backyard and front yard are both tree form, and they have a beautiful shape with a narrow trunk that can fit into any small garden space and a round ball of branches that explode with gorgeous blooms by the end of July. The orchid satin requires full sun exposure for optimal growth, so make sure to plant it in a sunny spot where it can get at least six hours of direct sunlight. It is very hardy and is tolerant of salt, drought, heat, and humidity. It is also disease resistant, making it an easy and absolute pleasure to grow. If you have any questions on this summer flowering shrub, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Orchid Satin Rose of Sharon. To enjoy an up close look at other gorgeous plants, be sure to subscribe to Olivia's Garden. Happy gardening!